These are gunner intercepts, and this video is what I think of them, and uh, if you should get them or not. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. Now since there isn't really much to the product itself, there's no you know, technical specifications or uh, even much in the way of the box itself, so um, mostly going to be sort of my impressions of uh, the glasses and my experience with them over the next few weeks. So um, I'm filming this uh, on what, Friday, um, so the video will be up uh, this this part of it at least will be up in a few weeks after I've had time to play with these uh, and see what I think. First impressions though, it's in frustration-ish packaging, as in it's all plastically sealed around the side. So first of all, before we can get into this, we're going to need to get a pair of scissors. Just a quick note to say when you do get it out of the rather frustration filled packaging, it is actually still in its box with a plastic cover on the front. You also get a little uh, velcro sort of thing where it says all the stuff about uh, how the um, you know gamers have implemented their IAMP technologies. Uh, so um, lens material, lens coating, lens geometry and lens tints all by I people. D diamics um, and uh, yeah and then there's a bit about many different languages and stuff so we're going to take a look inside um, actually the box and see if there's anything else besides the glasses inside. So inside you get a little uh, information leaflet about all the sort of uh, technologies and such in many different languages. You also get the glasses and a cool white uh, sort of sock for the glasses. Now, the glasses themselves will do a sort of uh, b-roll bit of this, but they do look very nice. I chose the black pair um, just because black's kind of my style, my thing. But there's some Gunner uh, branding on the sides. None of that, they're very clean and obviously with the tinted gaming uh, Ness. Now putting them on the fir first impression is that well, the world is all suddenly really yellow. Um, I guess that's probably to do with the fact that um, yellow helps your eyes uh, in sort of especially low uh, like screen light uh, scenarios. So apparently blue light is worse for your eyes and stuff like that, especially during sort of like sleep cycle times. If you're trying to game while you're sleeping, then um, blue probably keeps you more awake. I think that's why a lot of car manufacturers put blue lights and stuff. But anyway, um, they are actually, they're, they're pretty comfortable so far. As you can see, I literally just put them on. So these are literally my first impressions. I'll do a bit at the end in, in literally two weeks time once I've done this and uh, I'll let you know what I think. But um, yeah, you'll, uh, you'll get to see a bit of B-roll of these themselves and um, yeah, the cars that are running by. So as I said, you do get the uh, rather nice white bag with it. Personally, I had to use that quite a lot just to clean the lenses themselves. They tended to get quite dirty and, and greasy, um, mostly because I put them on top of my head, uh, you know, like you would with sunglasses. But obviously, because you get the bag, um, that's quite a nice, you know, way to clean them off quite uh, nicely. Now, the glasses themselves have a very nice build quality. You get some subtle gunner branding on the uh, the uh, outside uh, edge on on the arms. They have very nice build quality. They don't feel like they're going to break at all. Um, you know the hinges feel very sturdy. Um, you do get the uh, you know the brand or the model and the color uh, sort of imprinted on the side. But um, obviously, because there isn't much to talk about specifically, you know, physically, I'm going to talk a little bit about the experience. Now, just to point something out. Um, this is completely subjective, it's completely my opinion and my experiences, so if you have any differing opinions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below, but these are my findings. So, initially, uh, something I want to make clear is that people often say that these are, you know, rip-off a gimmick or, or anything like that. Um, for the right person, they are definitely not. Obviously, for some people who don't ever have eye strain problems, generally speaking, like myself, um, they're not, you know, as game changing as for someone who genuinely has eye strain problems and needs a fix for those. Now, personally, I would recommend trying out a program called F.Lux first before jumping in and buying these. But if you already use that and it hasn't helped, definitely give these a shot. To see if you can borrow one for, a pair from your friend or something, because they're definitely worth a go if you genuinely have eye strain issues. Obviously, if you don't and you just want to look cool, feel free to get them as well. Um, obviously, there's links uh, down below if you did want to grab them. But um, yeah, my opinion is that over the first week, I actually got headaches from them, um, from using them. I believe that was mostly just because of the small amount of zoom that there is, and so it's a bit of a you know uh, shift from my eyes. But on the second week, I did notice that I was able to do more video editing and more gaming, so 
um, you know, over longer periods of time, which is obviously uh, great for, for me for a content production side. And remember that they aren't just necessarily great for gaming, they are great for productivity, for anyone who sits at a desk all day and is just looking at a computer. Um, and also I was recommended that they'd be great for long term dry or long drives as well. So you know if you're going on a road trip or something, if you have these you might end up with a better bit of a better experience. So obviously that's great. Then I'm just gonna quickly talk about uh, you know who should get these and why you should get them. Um, and then round it up with the awards. So stick around. I mean, my personal opinion to recommend if you uh, should buy these or not is do you think they're going to work for you? Do you already use um, software to change uh, the color temp of your uh, screen? Because um, if you think they're going to work for you and you don't use any software, then they're probably going to be awesome uh, and they're probably worth the buy. Um, but if you already use software and you're a bit skeptical uh, of whether they're going to work and all that sort of stuff, then they're probably not going to work for you necessarily. Um, and you know it's uh, not necessarily a gimmick or anything, um, they're just uh, very personal to you and uh, whether you like them or not. Um, it's probably best to you know uh, see if you can give them a try, if your friend has one or whatever, uh, ask if you can borrow them for a week or whatever and, and just see. But um, for me it's, uh, it's not something that I'd personally buy myself, but then again as I said I already use um, software to uh, effectively fix one of the main problems. Obviously there are, there is other sort of, I guess, technologies in the lenses themselves, so there is a bit of zoom um, in the lens which is obviously nice for gaming and, and screen applications. Um, there, are, there is also other benefits to having these, so if you did have them, apparently they're really good for long term driving to reduce eye strain as well, so that's obviously an awesome and, <clears throat> you know, nice thing to add on to, so. There, there's all, all sort of uh, you know different things that they can uh, be good for, uh, but you just got to find the right one for you and obviously the right style, shape, and, and color, and all, all that sort of stuff. So that's kind of my opinion. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you want uh, to see anything else, as I said, leave them down below. Check out the written review on the website um, for you know a little bit more information, a little bit of detail, um, just some of my afterthoughts as well. And uh, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. So um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It helps us out a hell of a lot and shows the companies that uh, like Gunner that you love us. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, hit the like button if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, leave a comment and let us know what you thought of the video, the product, or any other jazz in the world. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the next video. So thanks for watching this Titan GB video. Uh, you've probably heard enough of me already, so I'm going to finish off by saying please subscribe if you haven't already. It helps us out a hell of a lot, and it means that just the world is in general. Please do feel free to check out some of our recent videos both down below. Um, they're uh, more recent ones and they're certainly awesome. Uh, feel free to click my face for the website and click all the links over there for our Amazon affiliate uh, link, our social media and also our YouTube channel as well. Other than that, as I said, please subscribe, like, share, favourite and all the other many things possible and we'll see you all in the next video.